Mikey, it seems that your dirt mini knights are losing because my diamond guys are clearly stronger. Do you see? No, no, no! My knights will win because I believe in them, and my <laughs> mini castle will win this battle. Do you really believe this? Is this not a joke? Hey, I'll also give my Ouch. mini castle an apple, but a golden one. So, Mikey, I'm better than you at everything. Just admit it. Wait, I'll come back now what? and show you what I can do. Okay, in the meantime, I'll take a look at how the battle is going. I'm back. You weren't expecting me, right? <gasps> so now I'm going to strengthen my knights, and now you're going to have big problems. Hey, it was actually my idea. Oh. Where did you get the potions from? Okay, it doesn't matter, because I have potions too. Don't you have that? No. What? You're not so brave anymore, are you? But I also have something that you don't have. Ouch. Now I'm going to fight for my mini castle by myself. <gasps> but first of all, I have to remove this lava. This does not suit me. My king, I heard you teleported here, and I have what you need. This hmm. staff will remove what our opponents have done to our castle. Great. Now I'm going to use this staff and remove all the lava. So, Mikey, your plan failed. Huh? I told you you were going to lose, remember? How lucky are you? Why exactly do you have such items? Okay, I accept your oh. terms, and I also have Ender Pearl. And now you and I will both meet on the battlefield. So, you can't get away from here anymore. Well, come on, teleport here. I don't understand what you're waiting for. What are you hoping for now? Do you think you can beat me? No, Mikey, I'm the coolest king here, and I'm going to win. There's no stopping me. Okay, I'm tired of you. I've had enough of talking to you already, and now I think that you won't be so arrogant <laughs> when we're in the same conditions. Give up already, because me and my knights will just destroy you. I understand that the most interesting thing begins. And so, I think that you don't have many chances to beat me. So, I know that I'm the coolest king here, so I should be attacking Mikey's castle by now. Come on, guys, eat the golden apple, and you will become stronger. And now, Mikey won't be able to cope with such knights anymore, I'm sure. Hey, let me go. I'm scared, JJ. Tell them, please. Uh -oh. It's not funny anymore. I definitely didn't expect this. Where is he taking me? No, you get what you deserve, so don't resist them. I always knew that my knights were the coolest, and now they have proved their loyalty to me. And after all, this is just the beginning. Our battle will be long, and I will come out of it victorious. I can't breathe. Oh my god, how scary it was, and I know it was your doing. But I'm not just going to let it go. You made the biggest mistake of your life. So now the jokes are over, and I will fight you to the last. And I hope that you won't resist me. How funny it is to listen to threats from Mikey. It's just a song for my ears. I have a gate now, and none of your diamond knights will get through to me. And you can't even do anything anymore. You've missed your chance to beat me. Now I've become smarter and more cunning, and I won't let you get close to me. Do you understand me? Mikey, do you think these gates can stop me? Or do you think I'll be scared of that? Well, you're wrong about that at all, because I also have something that you won't like. And alas, your gates don't scare me at all, because I know what I'm doing and who I'm going to do it with. So, Mikey, give up quickly while you still can, because soon you won't have that opportunity. Hey, what have you done? Why did you blow up my castle? Did I give you permission to do this? JJ, I do not know how to talk to you already, but why is the battle taking place inside my castle? I'm the king, and I didn't allow it. There was no order for there to be a fight on my castle. How do I understand this? JJ, stop your troops. This shouldn't happen. They had to fight in an open field on neutral territory. Mikey, this is just the beginning because I still have the diamond golem. And now the jokes are definitely over. You can't beat me now. I will destroy your entire army, all your knights, your entire castle, and you because I'm the king of JJ and everyone will know and honor me. So, alas, I certainly didn't want to upset you, but you chose this situation for yourself, so you can continue to sit on your castle and think that you are a cool king. But I'm going to win. No, please don't tell me anything. I won't give up. I will win. I will do everything for this, but I just don't have the resources for this yet. All I have are iron blocks. And wait, JJ, where are you going? Where did you run to? Oh no, do you want to take all my iron blocks? Then I won't have anything left. I don't even have coal. All I had was my iron. My iron blocks, please don't touch them. 
I can do anything for you. I can give you half the castle. Well, just the part that you've already destroyed. But it doesn't matter. Please stop. Mikey, I'm so grateful that you told me that you had iron blocks on the territory. Now I'm putting them right in front of your castle. So, you're not as cool as you used to be, are you? But the main thing is, don't stop and don't give up. You can keep trying to do something. You can try to destroy my castle or bomb it. But, alas, you won't succeed. No matter what you do, no matter what attempts you make, you have zero chance of beating me. Because I'm the strongest here, I'm the coolest here. And you'll just be my servant. This is your destiny. To engage in nonsense, so you don't even have to try to resist me. JJ, this is just unbearable. Where did you get such a strong army? And why exactly are they attacking me? Why my castle? I don't understand. There are a lot of castles and villages in the world, but for some reason, it is constantly attacking my castle. And I think this is unfair. And anyway, you almost destroyed it. There's almost nothing left of my castle anymore. And where do I live now? What should I tell my friends now? To their villagers who live here, but no longer live and will not live, because you destroyed everything. And now they will be homeless. And I only blame you for this, because it's your fault. And sooner or later, you will realize this and stop doing nonsense. Mikey, you can say whatever you want, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to destroy you. I've already destroyed almost your entire castle and your entire army. You have almost nothing left. And I also have varnishes, blocks, something you've never had or had at all. So I think the jokes are over and now the real war begins. And so I don't even know what to tell you because you don't have a chance. You've already lost. You just, you're wasting my time and you're wasting your time too. So I would advise you to give up as soon as possible and not do this nonsense. Otherwise, I have something else that you won't like at all. JJ, where did you get these bottles at all from where did you get these lucky blocks? I don't understand anything anymore what's going on. I thought we were going to have a regular battle of castles, but there's already some kind of bacchanal going on, some kind of chaos. I don't even have the words to write what I feel and what I think. You seem to have lost your mind already. It was supposed to be just a battle where we would fight with castles, our mini castles, and you made some kind of real war out of it. I don't understand, why are you doing all this? Do you want to win me so badly that you're ready to do these terrible things? Are you serious? JJ, I don't recognize you because it's not my friend. My friend would never do that to me. And you can see that I don't have the resources you do. Mikey, you just don't understand what you're saying. Of course, I understand that you are trying to stop me somehow, to gain time somehow, but it doesn't make any sense because I have already defeated you. And you know that perfectly well because you can't give up anymore. You're afraid to give up. I can see that. But alas, you have no other option because either you surrender or I destroy my entire castle, all your knights, and in general, everything you have here. And I will not delay. I'm just gonna do what I have to do because I am the real king and I will do everything for my kingdom, for my castle, for my knights to win. And you know that perfectly well. But for some reason, you don't want to give up. And that's your main disadvantage because you don't have any options. I'm the strongest here. I'm the coolest guy here. I'm the boss and the king here. I don't understand at all what you're doing, why you're doing it, why you're doing it. I just wanted a regular battle. JJ, please stop doing this mess because this is not a battle anymore. This is a real war. I've already told you about it, but for some reason you refuse to listen to me. Just listen to me and stop. You and I were best friends. You said it yourself and you remember it, but for some reason you forgot about it. It's ambition that's gone to your head. Or I do not know what else could have happened to you that made you so crazy. I didn't mean to hurt you. You started it first. You started this battle yourself. And now I understand why. To try to humiliate me somehow. But I won't give up. I will fight to the last. I'll be with my knights, with his castle, and we will stand. I can only wish you good luck. Mikey, I see that you finally decided to give up, right? But you know I won't stop. I will destroy your castle until the end, until only ruins remain of your castle. And there's no stopping me. I'll do whatever I want. And no one can stop me because I am the king of this world. Even if it's a mini world, I'm still the king. And you admit it, you will obey me, you're going to work for me, and you will only work for food, or I'll give you one lucky block a day, but I'll think about it later. 
in case you behave badly, and then you won't get anything from me at all. So let's do it anyway. As you stood at the top, so you will stand, and don't stop me from doing what I want. Because there's no stopping me, I will continue to destroy everything that is here. Because I'm the coolest king in the world. I've been waiting for a very long time, but so far nothing is happening at all. And it seems that nothing will happen anymore. You're just trying to scare me. I don't even know what to tell you about this. So just give up, because you won't get over my wall no matter how you try to do it. I hope that you understand this perfectly well and will make the right decision and will not waste our time. Who are you talking to there anyway? Do you think that someone is listening to you? But I have to disappoint you. No one here takes you seriously at all. So it's better to just shut up and not draw attention to yourself until I want to deal with you myself. Don't bother me. The main thing is that you should understand that I'm busy here working out a plan to defeat you and destroy you. And I know perfectly well that you're thinking about it too. But I can warn you that you won't succeed, so don't waste your time on this nonsense. And anyway, don't even think about it so that everything would be okay with me. Hmm, you're so funny. I'm listening to you and I can't believe my ears. You're seriously thinking that you can beat me, but you won't succeed. You're just wasting my time and your time on all sorts of nonsense. And I don't understand why you're doing this and what you're trying to do to achieve this. Everyone already understands that I have much more opportunities to win and I am much smarter and stronger than you, and I also have something that you do not have. Okay, I'm tired of all this. I'm tired of playing these games with you. Now it's time to talk to you seriously, because you don't understand ordinary words. So come on, come here, or not. Let's better, I'll come to you to destroy you. I think this is the best option of all those that can be possible, and you don't bother me, otherwise you'll die. I warned you, and you didn't listen to me. So you get what you deserve, and don't you dare blame me for this, because everyone knows that I'm the best of us, not you. So you lost the first battle, but this is just the beginning. So accept it. You will lose more than once. No, you're just lucky, and it won't happen again. So get out of my castle and don't come running to me for a single block so that I don't see you here anymore. I hope that you understand me, and still listen and don't make any more mistakes, because I'll just destroy you. I already have everything you need for this, and I'm warning you, don't come near me, because next time you won't be able to do the same, I'll just throw you down, and everyone will forget about you and the fact that you can beat someone. You said the same thing before, and how did it all end? You just flew into the abyss in my eyes, and this will happen every time until you finally realize that you have no chance of defeating me. And anyway, why do you still think you can beat me? Have you seen how much I've already done, and what do I have? No, you haven't seen it, and you won't see it, because I'll leave it for later. So just wait for your fate, and when the time comes, you'll understand that I was right, and you only hindered me to win. You didn't even fight me. Wait, where have you gone? Why can't I see you? What are you already doing there? What are you up to? To be honest, I'm already starting to worry and I don't like it. Where are you? JJ, I know you're up to something, but I still can't figure out what it is. And it's starting to bother me. And I hope you're not on my castle anymore. It's not like that, right? Okay, you're not answering me, so I'd better take a look myself. And it seems like you're not here, but where are you? Are you crawling around your cave somewhere, right? How did you guess? Did you come to this by yourself? Or did someone suggest it to you? Because, as it seemed to me, you still don't understand what you agreed to. I'll do something to you that no one else in your life has ever done, and don't even try. Because while you were doing nonsense, I was minting resources in the mine and train it on monsters. So I would not advise you to accompany me because it will not end well. I hope that you yourself understand this perfectly well and your hour of judgment is approaching. So get ready. This time I will not retreat from your island. JJ, what is it? Can't you get to me? Or are you already afraid of me? Of course I understand that this is so, but don't give up so quickly. Maybe you can get to me, but it seems that not this time, so you better not try. Go do your own thing. Give me time to strengthen my chunk. Yes, do nonsense further. It suits me quite well, and I won't die so easily. No, I just had some problems with food here. Now I'll get food and come to you. So don't hope that you'll hide, and I won't be able to find you. This is your only chance. 
How did I not understand this right away? How lucky I am that I have a villager living on my chunk and he has run out of food. So, Mikey, meet me. Now I will come back to you, and it's better for you not to know what I plan to do with you. So, let's have some fun with you now. Or are you not as brave as you used to be? And I'm not afraid of your zombies. Do what you want. I hid, and I don't care what you end up doing. You can't get me and don't even try to find me. I'm leaving my army to fight, and I'm retreating, and it's better for you not to know where I am. Maybe I'm on your castle, maybe on my own, but it doesn't matter because my voice is in your head and you can't get rid of it in any way. So, are you still fighting Lucky Blocks? Do you really think you can beat them? I wouldn't be so sure if I were you because you don't have any chance of winning Sane, so don't even try. Do you understand me or not? So, I'm tired of all this. I've already destroyed all your knights, so you have no one left and you're doomed to die because I found all your things. I have all your weapons and you don't have any other. And I know it perfectly well, so you don't have to deceive me. You won't succeed. Just forget about the fact that you can defeat me. Come on, crawl out of your cave and give me everything you have left here if you want me to give you a chance to win. Otherwise, I'll just completely destroy your chunk and then you won't be able to convince me. Well, I admit that you were able to defeat me. You were stronger than me this time. You did well.